going on team proof here about a couple hours ago a user by the name of wander 503 uploaded to reddit the screenshot of his opponent not properly uh, resolving after image and <coughs> the scenario he presented said that at the time his opponent had less than six cards in his hand when he returned his bound card and his opponent was under the impression that all his after image cards would return to his hand regardless of the card count because the condition or the event of uh, the card returning from the buy zone happened and his opponent mentioned that there's no time in Vanguard which isn't exactly true it's, actually, it's not true at all there is time in Vanguard because after image works off of specific timing so what I want to do is I wanted to go over after image and explain what happens in the situation such as this one when you have multiple cards triggering at the same time and I don't want to do that because uh, the new Batama child uh, blah, new Batama child deck is coming out soon and there's gonna be a renewed focus on after image and the keyword so I want to put this out there for anybody that might need some help understanding after image or if they do understand it already just maybe you can ignore this video, <laughs> but I hope you still watch it. But this, <laughs> excuse me, this will help people that are kind of confused about how After Image works and maybe want to try the new Batamla trial deck in the future so that way they don't get in trouble by doing an improper action. So, what we'll do is that we'll pull up a new Batamla keyword card, which I can't pronounce any of these, but I wanted to pull off of the wiki because sometimes CFA may not have the proper text because sometimes they just improperly copy it over or something like that or they have incorrect text and never choose to fix it. But as we can see here, we have for after image it says auto rear guard circle after image. When your opponent puts a bound card into his or her hand, if you have if your hand has six or less cards, you may return this unit to your hand. So looking at the auto keyword ability part of the the mechanics in the wiki. The main ones I want to focus on is part of the second bullet point and part of the third bullet point because it's the way after image works kind of a mishmash of these two, but the third one is probably the one that'll be most beneficial. But the second one mentions if the uh, auto if the automatic ability would be triggered by the movement of the card itself, then the auto then the ability is written as auto when event happens, effect happens. Uh the event or phase or step is called the trigger condition and when the trigger condition is fulfilled the automatic ability is considered to be triggered so when a bound card is returned to your opponent's hand any and all after image cards on the field will go into standby mode and wait and are wait and, and then are waiting to be resolved and then some automatic abilities have auto cost effect instead of auto effect the cost here or the cost here is the cost referred to and paid during the resolution of the ability and the third bullet point some automatic abilities have text auto zone uh, when event happens if the condition is fulfilled I'm kind of putting in auxiliary words here to help help you understand uh, what they're trying to get to when it's written like this these abilities will trigger if the event happens even if the condition is not met can, uh, abilities with the text, this ability can be used for the rest of the turn, will be resolved if the condition is not met, etc. etc. So, if we go back to our Glimmer Breath clone here, it says when your opponent puts a bound card into his or her hand, that's the event, and then comma. So, we have the comma separating the event from the condition, and what's not really explained in the the auto condition mechanic part of the tab that I just opened up the condition is not checked until resolution of the ability and in Vanguard if multiple cards are on standby you can pick the order to resolve them but you can't interrupt a card resolving so a card must resolve completely until you then resolve another card that's waiting in standby mode. So what this means is the condition for you to return a card to your hand through after image is having six or less cards in your hand and each and every after image card on the field 
they won't check for you having six or less cards in your hand until you put them out of standby and into resolution. So say you have five cards in hand and you have three after image cards on the field, you they all go into standby when your opponent returns the bound card. So then all three go in standby mode. You pick the Glimmer Breath clone here, you want to return him. So you check and see if one has five, six or less cards. They do because you have they have five. So then you return him to your hand. So you have two waiting to resolve and you have six cards in your hand. So then the second one you choose the order to resolve it in and it checks for six or less again. So then that one can return as well. So now you have seven cards in your hand. So now that third after image card, even though it was triggered by the condition to return to your hand, if it filled the condition, since you have seven cards in your hand, and when it checks upon resolution, you have the seven cards, it has to stay on the field because now you are over the condition, which is six or less. So that means, I hope I explained that well. <laughs> So I hope going through all that uh, helps helps those that weren't quite familiar with After Image better understands how After Image works in this particular scenario when you have a lot of cards in your hand. Let me know if you if you didn't quite understand or if I didn't explain it well enough, because <laughs> sometimes that happens. And so, yeah, that'll do it for me. And look out for more. Hope you guys enjoyed the. Uh, recruit report video from from late last night and until next time peace oh and look out for me on the science of vanguard uh live stream tonight uh it's gonna be going down at around it's gonna be going down eight central time which is nine eastern time for me so hope you guys come out for that and hope you guys enjoy until next time peace be easy